The Farmer's Wife Comprehension I Question 1 Who do you and I in the poem refer to? Answer You refers to the farmer and I refers to the wife of the farmer. Question 2 Why has the speaker's husband committed suicide? Answer The farmer Husband of the speaker's crop was destroyed because of that he was in severe economical blue. He could not be able to pay back the money lenders. Thus the farmer committed suicide. Question 3 What series of contrasts does the speaker draw between herself and her husband? Answer: The speaker was not used to sell things. Not even go out to others house and ask something for their house. But in contrast to that the farmer was unable to bend his bend and stretch out his hand. Question 4 oh. What expressions in the poem bring out the contrast between the speaker's her husband's plight? What difference does this indicate? Answer: But in battle I must live I must embrace life not death embrace life and the struggle for life Thesis expressions show that the speaker has come out of the plight. She overcame the problem and negotiated the situation with a brave heart. She will win the battle of life which her husband could not do. Question 5 The farmer's wife in the poem is A. Complaining about her husband's death B. Lamenting the death of her husband C. Angry that her husband has left her D. Bitter about her husband's act E. Worried about her future F. All of the above Answer, J, all of the above. Questions 6. What memories of her husband trouble her now? Answer, her husband used to be a drunker. He used to abuse and revile her and kicked her. All the time she thought that he is just a man. Question 7. What does the phrase harvest of my womb suggest? Answer, the phrase suggests the four children she gave birth from her womb. Question 8. Why is their plight compared to warm-eaten cotton pod? Answer. The situation of the farmer's family is suffering with a severe economic crisis. The farmer's wife and their four children are there. But there is no hope for their life to rebuild. It is like the warm-eaten cotton pod. Question 9. To what condition had her husband's act of committing suicide pushed her? Answer. There was no crop. The dignity was come to the ground. Question 10. The poem ends with A. An assertion. B. A deep sense of failure and despondency. C. Able to survive against all odds. Answer. C. Able to survive against all odds. To question 1. Many times the tone suggests the attitude of the speaker. What kind of attitude are suggested by the words virtuous, poor sinner, he is but a man, what of this, why is this? Answer, the positive attitude of the speaker here depicted. She has a firm heart to say these expressions. She has the lesson to teach her children not to be as father but to take the challenges in our life and win the battle. Question 2. What kind of questions does the poem arise about the plight of farmers' widows? Do you think that these questions are only addressed to the speaker's dead husband? Answer. What of this? Why is this? My back would bear the burden of four children. But our family? These questions the speaker asks not only against her husband but the people who are in that situation. The farmer's wife additional question and answer. Question 1. How many children did the speaker have? Answer. The speaker had four children. Question 2. What does the sentence warm eaten cotton pods mean? Answer. The condition of the speaker's family is without the head of the family so it is like warm eaten cotton pod. Question 3. For whom did the widow live? 
Answer. The widow must lie for her four children. Question 4. What did remain after the death of the farmer? Answer. The debt remained after the death of the farmer. Question 5. Which crop did they grow? Answer. They grow the cotton crop. Fill in the blanks. 1. Their hearts turn to water. 2. It is better to embrace life than death. 3. A death blow like this dot. Find out the parts of speech the word death, death adjective. The Farmer's Wife Summary in English The poem The Farmer's Wife by Volga depicts the struggle of the wife of a farmer after his death. The speaker sadly recorded the reality of the poor farmer's story. Here is the wife of the dead farmer. She is a poor sinner remaining before the creditors. She has to face them because her husband borrowed money from them. The farmer could not succeed to sell the crops or lend money from other to pay back the borrowed money. She is asking question to the farmer now that knowing that she was born with a head bent. She is not familiar with selling the things. But the farmer consumed poison and died off. The life without the farmer is like a bitter experience. The farmer is a drunker. He used to abuse and revile her and kicked her. She thinks at the time that he is just a man. But there are no crop but the debt remains. The dignity had come down to the dust. Her heart turned as water. He did not imagine that she would bear the burden of four children. The former saw only the loss of the crop but he did not think of their children. She further urges that to die is a moment needed. But truly what we need is a firm heart. She now teaches her children live not merely for a handful of rice but live in the battle of life. This poem greatly explains the brave-hearted woman who lost her husband and ran a challenging life.